This video will discuss inherited and acquired traits of living things and explain how they are different. The video will also explain why living things are in some way like their parents. Living things, also known as organisms in this video, can be identified by the unique traits they have. From humans with brown hair to tigers with stripes, a trait is a quality or characteristic of a living thing. While some traits can be learned or changed throughout a lifetime, others are programmed into our very cells and are passed on from one generation to the next. Traits of living things fall into two categories, inherited and acquired. Let's begin by talking about the first category, acquired traits. An acquired trait is a trait that an individual gains over their lifetime. Organisms are not born with acquired traits, but acquire them as they grow and develop. These traits cannot be passed on to an organism's children when it reproduces. Sometimes, acquired traits are a learned skill or ability. These are called behavioral traits. In humans, playing a piano well or speaking a language are considered acquired traits. Perhaps a human knows how to ride a bike or name all the state capitals. These are acquired traits that describe the individual. Animals have acquired traits too. A dog learning how to play fetch or a horse knowing how to carry a rider are both acquired traits. These are characteristics that describe an individual but they are not characteristics that will be passed on to offspring. These are traits that have been gained over their lifetime. Some acquired traits are physical traits. A physical trait is part of an organism's body structure. For example, a person might acquire a broken arm when they fall off a bike, or a dog might have its hair cut. These are both acquired traits. However, if that human or dog had a baby, the baby will not be born with a broken arm, and a puppy would not have that same haircut. Some traits, such as height, seem like they are acquired since they change over a person's lifetime. But the final height of a person is determined long before they are even born. Height is a trait that is passed down from one's parents. Traits like these are known as inherited traits. A trait that is passed down from one's parents is called an inherited trait. Most of the traits living things possess are inherited in this way. Just a few examples include hair color, eye color, body shape, and most other physical features. However, inherited traits determine more than just the physical appearance of a living thing. Behavioral traits can also be inherited. Sometimes, a trait may seem like it is an acquired trait, but it is actually an inherited behavioral trait that an organism is born with. For example, babies are born knowing how to cry when they need something. Puppies are born knowing how to get milk from their mothers. Fish are born knowing how to swim. All of these are behavioral traits, but they are still inherited from parents and offspring are born with them. Information for inherited traits is passed on from parents to offspring by passing on a structure called DNA. Organisms must be able to pass on DNA and create offspring with similar traits or those traits will disappear and the species will go extinct. That's all for inherited and acquired traits. To learn more about how information is inherited from parents and passed on to offspring, watch the other videos on this playlist.